Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Food Inventory Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner with some items, well actually one item from our freezer. As you guys know, we have been diligently working on trying to eat within our freezer and pantry and cabinets over the last couple of months. We are expecting a baby in January and are just trying to clear out as much space, space as possible. So from the freezer, um, Howard grilled these hot links. Here they are right here, Hillshire. And here they are on his plate. So he's eating two hot dogs. As you can see, there's a bunch of ketchup. I'm not a big fan of ketchup. Is anybody out there a fan of ketchup? So, and then also on the bottom, which you cannot see um, underneath the link, he put some chipotle mayo, and I am not a big chipotle mayo person at all either, or mayo, period, actually. And then he is having some flaming Hot Nacho Doritos. Now, I think these are new. Um, normally, we get just the spicy Doritos, but these are flaming Hot, so as you can see, they're super red. And then I am just having some Cheetos cheese puffs. Let me show you my plate. I've got the cheese puffs there, and then I've got my hot link, and I just like a little bit of regular yellow mustard. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so tonight we are eating some other food from our pantry and freezer. So we are having some charo beans from H-E-B. If you remember over the summer, um, we went to my cousin's wedding, which is near an H-E-B, which is a popular grocery, train, grocery chain store here in Texas, but they don't have them everywhere. And so when I was there, I stopped by the H-E-B and got some um, food some groceries from there, some of my favorite things. So I got some charro beans and I made those. I just doctored them up a little bit with some more spices. We had some leftover Mexican rice in the fridge, so I wanted to use that up. And then in the freezer, we had some cheese tamales. Let me show you what the packaging looks like. And um, I got them from a local grocery store here called Market Street. And um, these were frozen. And then, and how I made them was I put this entire container, or this bag, I should say, I put this entire bag in boiling water and let them boil for about 25 minutes. So this is my plate. As you can see, I just added a little bit of salsa to mine. And this is Howard's plate. Um, he's going to eat his with sour cream. And then he likes to have his beans on top of his rice. And um, so this is it. So this is Howard's plate. And then this is my plate. And this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for tonight, we are having a couple of other items from our freezer. We are having these, this, um, these beef fajitas. Um, it's actually just the meat, so it's just steak. And then we're also having these Azteca taco shells. You guys know how much I love these taco shells. And with these two items, we have made taco salads. So this is Howard's plate. You can't see it, but on the bottom of his shell, he put a bunch of sour cream and salsa. And then we have some butter lettuce, cheese, and steak. And then on mine, I just, um, the bottom layer of mine is lettuce. And then I have cheese, the steak, and salsa. So again, we used up two items from our freezer, just trying to use up what we have. And also from the fridge, I forgot, um, I'm using the cheese. So I, a while back ago, Kroger had cheese on sale for 99 cents. So I used a brick of cheese um, for this too. So anyway, this is what we're having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I had to run an errand after work and um, I decided to stop by Market Street, which is a local grocery store here. Howard did not want anything. He is making up some scrambled eggs and um, adding a bunch of stuff to it, kind of like an egg scramble, similar to what we had last week. And so I picked up some roasted chicken thighs um, from the hot bar and they are really good. Their food is really seasoned very well. And then also some mashed potatoes. I've got some cabbage right here. And then you get a choice of a roll or jalapeno cornbread. And so I have, let me show y'all. I have the jalapeno cornbread, which normally I don't eat. Probably won't eat it tonight because it's a little bit too dense for me. 
and Howard usually eats that. So this is what I am having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so tonight is an on your own night tonight in our house and so earlier this week we had taco salads of course so we had two left in the box and so Howard made a taco salad with his. Let me show you what his looks like. Um, <laughs> the meat that he used was some leftover roast beef that we had um, as well, which to me, I don't know, I, I, you know, it's different. Roast beef taco salad, hey, whatever, we're trying to use what we've got, so he's having that. And I also wanted a taco salad, but I made mine into a pizza. So I was thinking of making a Mexican pizza like the ones from Taco Bell. I just didn't feel like it by the time I got home. So what you see on my shell is um, some marinara, and then I just have some mozzarella, and then I just baked it. So basically it's a little thin crust pizza. And then with the leftover salad, I just made a little bitty side salad, and I just used this Asian, um, salad dressing that I had in the fridge. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, using up what we've got, Howard's roast beef taco salad, and, um, and then my little taco salad pizza, taco salad shell pizza, I should say. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so this is not dinner, of course. I am out to brunch with a friend, trying out a new brunch place for me. And this is her plate. She got some blueberry pancakes, some grits, and eggs, and bacon. And then I am having some sausage patties with a Texas pecan waffle. So this is what I am having for brunch today. See you guys next time.